Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we'll be looking at the top three captain picks for your team in Game Week 1. Before we jump in, just a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. The first name is one that might be surprising to some, which is Sadio Mane. In pre-season, he scored three times and assisted once. He openly admitted at the tail end of the 2021 campaign that he'd not hit the same heights that he's used to, and he'll be desperate to set the record straight with a strong start. He plays Norwich, who have by far the lowest clean sheet odds of all teams in Game Week 1, and Mane is among the highest for expected points with 5.4. If your Game Week 1 draft is very template and you're looking for an early punt, Mane is a standout. Robertson picked up an injury in Liverpool's pre-season game against Athletic Bilbao, which is something to monitor for a potential impact on Liverpool's left flank where Mane plays. Simicast is a very capable player in his absence, so for now it's not one to overthink. Last season he contributed to 22 goals from 11 goals, 11 assists, and with only 4.1% ownership he's a huge differential to start the season with. Next up is Mane's teammate Mo Salah, who has the outstanding Norwich fixture in Game Week 1 also. He finished last season with 22 goals, 6 assists and 21 bonus. He was also the highest for expected goal involvement among all players last season with 26.4 XGI. For Game Week 1, Salah has the highest expected points of all players with 7.28. He's a relatively safe pick, however with his ownership hovering around 50%, the potential to gain rank is lessened. Salah is, however, on penalty duty to Liverpool, which only raises his ceiling and always gives him the potential return, even in a quiet game. That said, since the start of the 2019-20 season, only Kane has more non-penalty goals than Salah's 31. Last time Norwich were in the Premier League under Fark in the 2019-20 season, Liverpool won both games against them, including a 4-1 win where Salah got one goal and one assist in game week one. Salah also got off to a flying start in game week 1 last season with a hat-trick against Leeds and there's every chance he starts strong again. The final pick is Bruno Fernandes who starts this campaign with a hefty price hike to 12 mil. Last season no player scored more points than Bruno with 244 points and he's another player on penalty duties. He was also top for expected assists and second for expected goal involvement after Salah. He plays a lead side who lost 6-2 to Man United in the same fixture last season where Bruno scored twice and got an assist, despite coming off in the 71st minute. Bruno's definitely one to monitor tactically, Solskjaer may tweak the team's shape to a 4-3-3 which could have a negative impact on Bruno's attacking output. For now he's a very viable captain pick and he's had some rest after looking tired at times towards the end of last season. Another thing to monitor is the rate of penalties being awarded in the league. Bruno converted 10 last campaign and heading into the new campaign the VAR rules have been tweaked so that a higher threshold is now required for awarding penalties and penalising challenges. Historically we've seen some players become worth their price tag purely due to being penalty takers such as Milivojevic. That isn't to say him and Bruno are in any way equal in quality but both certainly had their numbers boosted by penalties. Here's how the three compare heading into Game Week 1. If you're not familiar with any of the metrics, I've included definitions in the description. Let me know in the comments below who you've got the armband on, I read every comment. Likewise, if there's anyone else worth considering for the armband. For now, thank you for watching today's video. This week I'll be posting my final Game Week 1 draft, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that or any other content coming this season on the channel.